Here we have 9.6 graphing a cube root function. So just like the absolute value and the squared function and the um, square root functions, all of them, you always take what is inside that main function um, and set it equal to zero to figure out the center of your um, graph. So for a cube root, if I take the inside of that cube root, x plus 1 equal to 0, and I solve this equation, I get that x equal to negative 1 is the middle, the center. So I'm going to use negative 1 here, and then on the number line, right, here's negative 1, I'm going to use two numbers to the left of negative 1, like negative 2 and negative 3, and then I'm going to use two numbers to the right of negative 1, like 0 and positive 1. And what I do with those is I'm going to plug each one of these x values into this function to figure out the y values. And so this part I do pretty quickly because I am pretty good at doing arithmetic in my head. If you have to type the whole thing in a calculator every single time, that is okay too. Um, but I end up with negative cube root of 2, which is the same as negative cube root of 2. The cube root of 2 does not simplify. Here I get cube root of negative 1, which is just negative 1. Here I get the cube root of 0, which is 0. Cube root of positive 1, which is positive 1. And then the cube root of 2, which stays a positive cube root of 2. Now in the computer, you can type in the point, you know, the little button that has the little X in it and then you can type in negative 3 negative cube root of 2 and as long as you type that in correctly um, it should be able to graph that point for you and so for me the point is a little bit above 1 it's like 1.25 so I'm going to put the point about right there then for negative 2 and negative 1, oh, I should have been in the negative direction because it's negative 1.25. So about right here, negative 2 and negative 1, um, 0 and 1, I'm sorry, negative 1 and 0, 0 and 1, and then 1 and 1.25. So you get this kind of graph which matches the um, normal behavior of a cubic function. Okay, so now we're going to do the next problem, which is the cube root of x plus 5, and this plus 5 is not underneath the house. So when I try to figure out the center, I'm only going to take what is inside the root and equal that to 0. And I don't necessarily have to solve x because it's already solved for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my table and use 0 as the center. And if I draw my graph, 0 is the center, I need two numbers to the left and two numbers to the right. So I'm going to use negative 1 and negative 2 and then positive 1 and positive 2. And so I'm going to plug these numbers into this radical and then plus 5. So here I'm going to get negative cube root of 2 plus 5 after I simplify. Here I'm going to get negative 1 plus 5 which is 4, 0 plus 5 which is 5, 1 plus 5 which is 6, and then 2, I'm going to get the cube root of 2 plus 5. So if I were to type, or if I were to put those in the computer, these two problems specifically, I would have to put them using that icon that lets you type in points and I would have to plug this whole thing in in order for it to plot that point for me but that point one two three one two three okay so that this number actually is about 3.7 so when I grab myself I'm gonna go one two three and about 0.7 so about right there then negative one and four then 1 and 6, then 2 and this number, and that number happens to be about 6.2. So again, in the computer, you would type in this 
using the plot a point function and that value is about 6.2 or 6.3 somewhere around there so it's about right here and then this one and that's it oh I missed one and six that's what I missed I should have done one and six first and then two and six point three or so and so now I have this um, graph okay and so that's how you will graph these functions so always take what's inside the house set it equal to zero to find the center once you know the center pick two values to the left of it pick two values to the right of it plug them into your function and then you can plot your points and connect your dots for the graph